I was told from a, a large Polynesian man that I gotta come here. Mm, looks so, so good. Unique piece. Oops. And when a large Polynesian man who loves food tells you that you need to go to a place and eat, you go there. What are we doing here in North Shore? Looking for hidden food gems. And my friend's gonna help me. Aloha. Today we are going on a hidden gem food tour in North Shore. Oh yeah, it is hidden. More like a hidden gem. Unlike our last North Shore video, which focused more on the popular places, this video's goal is quite the opposite. Oh, that is a lot of taste. We want to make sure that these hidden gems stay not so hidden. Check it out. We are here at the famous Pa'ala'a Kai Bakery, home of the Sada Malasadas and the Snow Puppies. That's what I'm here for. Let's go check it out. They've been around for 40 years and they're still going strong. They're still going strong because obviously the bakery's gotta be good, right? Took a number, that's how you know they're busy. That is a lot of puffiness here. Whew. Do you guys have snow puffies available? Yes! Whew. They do. So, it says it right here, snow puffies around the corner. Now let's go somewhere nice and enjoy these treats together. We are here at the North Shore Marketplace and let's enjoy these puppies here. You ready? Oh my, that looks heavenly. Look at this. The chocolate on top is very thick and dense. The parlor complements it and just puts the icing on the cake along with this crusty, crispy outer laying. And you can feel how cold the custard filling is on the inside over here. I like how the bakery looks so old school from the outside, but this looks like it came from a rich fine dining restaurant. Let's eat. That was so good, wow. Best pastry I've ever had, hands down. It's just a combination of a crusty, warm top and a nice custard, ice cream-like, soft, frozen filling on the inside. And when you combine the two, it just doesn't make sense to your taste buds. So much detail, so much flakes, and so much flavor in every bite. I can see why this is their signature pastry. You gotta make your way here when you come to the North Shore to this bakery. Let's see their other famous treat, which is the Sada Malasadas. Malasadas are, it's a Portuguese donut that's fried. Most people go to Leonard's Bakery, as you saw from the other video that you, I'm sure that you watched before. Anyhow, if you haven't, go check out that video after this. It's best eaten while it's fresh and hot. And you know when something's really good, that no matter how well you eat it, you can't stay clean. The out over here is very thick. And it has a really soft feeling on the outside of the bun, but it's still crispy and flaky. You ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Wow. That is a really good malasada. A lot of malasadas I've eaten are deep fried with a lot of oil. And of course, this is fried, but it's not too much, which is really good. They focus more on the bun and the custard filling and on the inside it's all soft here. I think that they put a lot of craft into their malasadas. Thick, dense, creamy, silky, smooth texture of custard filling. I need your candle so I can go. Oh yeah, a Hawaiian traveler piece. Oh, yeah. Hey. 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 Thank you. And our last item, which I didn't plan on coming here for, but it looked too irresistible for me not to buy it, which is the Long John. The Long John is basically a powder donut in the shape of a hot dog bun form that's not fried, and they have custard filling on the inside and the flakiness on the top. Let's try it. 
You ready? The Long John is good, but I just ate two of the most amazing pastries I've had in my life. So uh, it's hard for me to review this, but it is good. But uh, uh, you're not here for this. So good. I'm just gonna enjoy this pastry and I'll see you guys later. Right now we're going to Mama Nita's and it's directly across the street from the old school McDonald's here in North Shore. I was told from a, a large Polynesian man who loves food that I gotta come here. And when a large Polynesian man who loves food tells you that you need to go to a place and eat, you go there. That's one of my food tips. Oh, Mama Nita. Oh, it's hidden. Oh yeah, it is hidden. More like a hidden gem. It's a hidden gem. So here we are. And just to let you know that I do read all comments. So if you told me to go check out a place, I will consider it, okay? You know what their slogan is? It's baking me hungry. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Hey, she caught on pretty quick. I didn't catch on real quick. You switched the word from Macon to Bacon. Obviously, they have some personality. Let's go check it out. So it's our lucky day because I asked for the grilled mac and cheese and bacon and they serve it only on Wednesdays. I'm here on a Wednesday. All the stars are falling into place. Yeah, we have a YouTube channel. It's called The Hawaiian well, Traveler. You guys on yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's Chef Pat. Yeah, I'm Chef Pat. This is Chef Pat here. Hey guys, guys. Yeah, yeah. Chef Pat has worked as a professional chef for 41 years. He quit his job at the Marriott Hotel and is now part of the family-owned food truck. My aunt's name is Juanita. We also met his wife and niece. Check this out. Oh gosh. No, I'm just, I'm over exaggerating. You know when they open the treasure box and then there's a glow? This looks so, so good. Look at all that grilled cheese, the macaroni, and how they have the grilled cheese on top of the bread. What? And a bunch of fat, juicy, flavorful, savory, tasting mac cheese with bacon on the inside. And it's all smashed and compacted into this one piece of bread. Two, three. It's crunchy on the outside. There is a lot of food that they smush together that you're able to just grind it all in one bite. And there's an explosion with a bunch of different tastes. There's cheese everywhere. There's cheese on the top. There's cheese in the middle. There's cheese everywhere on this sandwich. It's basically an art form. I think that adds for a, a double or triple wow factor. How do you guys enjoy it here? What you guys have? Uh, it was really good. We got the mac and cheese. Sandwich, and then yeah. we also got the burrito. Uh, burrito, really yeah. good. Yeah. Spread, yeah. Take it up and spread the word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Basically, this is the best mac and cheese bacon sandwich I've ever tried. Thought I was done, huh? Well, I'm not because I have the most popular dish right here. It's what people come here for, and I want to thank Chef Pat for giving this to me as a gift to share it with you all. We have this garlic chicken. It smells so good too. This is fine dining right here in a local style. Don't make fun of me and leave me comments if I'm eating with a chopstick and I'm doing it wrong, okay? Ooh. Let's go. Wow, that is some soft, nice, texture in the chicken and when you take a bite into it then the juice is flowing in your mouth then the garlic is being chased by it after there's like three or four different stages that you go through when you eat a piece of garlic chicken from here i like the fact that it's not too oily either it's just right with the right amount of texture right amount of softness the right amount of flavor and it belongs right in my mouth and the seasoning really offsets this chicken apart from 
a lot of other chickens I'd eat. I think this is quite a delicious, unique piece. Oops. The rice is nice and soft. The mac salad is thick and creamy. When you combine all this together, you get a winner. This food, it makes me feel like a winner for being here. And you're a winner too when you come over here and tag me in your post that you came here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thank you so much. I used to give you this too. Aww. This is the French toast. Oh wow. And it's not a typical one. A delicious French toast with syrup, butter, strawberries, and blueberries all mixed right here. All going in my mouth. French toast is sweet. The butter just adds more flavor towards it. The blueberry and strawberry is fresh. I think it's really good. And here we have some chow fun. This must be special. The chow fun is usually served as a breakfast bento. They replicate an old school Chinese place nearby. My dad was half Chinese, ate at many Chinese restaurants, and this is bringing back some good memories right now. It's good. Good grinds back in the days. <laughs> so I brought back a lot of memories for a lot of the older people. This is a food yeah. adventure all in itself within this past hour. The food was great. The chef did work for Olani and worked for the Maria, and those are fine dining hotels. So I'm glad that we have that here at a local food truck. Even the roosters here agree they should come here. Off to the next base. If you recognize me, please come by and say hi. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So good, the food is so good. We love the hospitality. The next hidden gem is Hono's shrimp truck. A guy named Jason Murayama left a comment on our YouTube channel saying that this space Hono's shrimp truck is way better than Giovanni's. Giovanni's is the most famous shrimp truck in Hawaii. Giovanni's over there and another shrimp truck is right here. Hono's is being overshined. This truck is like the underdog of Giovanni's because everywhere is over there. Look how busy it is over there. And it's so empty over here. Maybe we've been overlooking this hidden gem all along. Let's find out. Yeah, but does Giovanni's have shrimp combined with kalbi? But they do. I believe that the owners of this truck are Korean and BTS has been here. I'm not a fan, but I do know a lot of people are. I'm a hater. And uh, many other popular people have been here. Rose has been here. And that's all you need to know that BTS came here and they enjoyed it. Oh, and it's cash only too, so that's important to know. Cash only, no debit, no credit card, none of that stuff. It's kind of weird because we've been standing here all by ourselves for a while now. Meanwhile. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just being real. No. Call me selfish, but I'll be kind of <laughs> Oh, oh thank you. Thanks for watching me. Appreciate it. Yeah. Like, I saw him. Oh, we were watching you guys. We oh, <laughs> actually came here because of you guys. Yeah. We watch the walk. Oh. We watch you guys constantly until we got here. That makes us feel good when we meet people who watch our videos. Whoa! That looks kind of cute. Really cute, actually. It's a shrimp buttery, but it's spicy. It's a buttery, spicy shrimp. I see that the flavors go into the shrimps as well. So let me try a bite, okay? Oh, that is a lot of taste. And a good amount of chili, too. Mm. Wow, what a good amount of spiciness. It's definitely uh, more Korean spicy. The flavors are popping. It is really, really different. Mm. For an underdog next to a famous truck, I'm really impressed by this. If it's good enough for BTS, it's great enough for me. Shells are crispy, lots of flavor, dipping down with the sauce. It's a good size. The flavors are amazing. It's very unique. If you love spiciness, love spicy food, this is the place to go. You only cross from Giovanni's to here. It's a three second walk. The nine one thousand, ten one thousand. It's actually a 10 second walk from Giovanni's to Hono's, but who's counting? 
I'm sucking all the flavors out of this one. It's so good. I haven't even got to the kelpie yet. And look how juicy this piece of kelpie is. Oh man. This is really good kelpie. Ah, I just love surprises and this is a good surprise. I really think this place is completely underrated. Completely. The truck is a little bit slow, you know. Everyone is at Giovanni's. And here I am enjoying such a nice, wonderful meal. It costs $19 for the kalbi and butter spicy shrimp. It's kind of expensive, but at the same time, I don't want to judge a place by its price. It's totally worth it. Off to the next place. Here we are at Kaimana Shave Ice. It's a locally owned family business. I heard great things about them. They use premium natural flavors for their shave ice and their IG pics look really good. I just hope their IG pics look as good as it tastes. We'll find out together. Pretty cool. I like the local vibe here too. Laid back. I wanted to have some of the shave ice that's featured on the IG. Maybe make it look exactly like how the picture shows. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I was just joking when I said that. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, one of the owners. And so, what is your name again? Hi, my name is Max Nowicki. Uh, my brother Jake Nowicki is the one who started Kaimano Shave Ice. My brother and I both grew up out here in the house out back and we ate shave ice all the time growing up. We really liked it. And so, he um, started to play around with making a shave ice that was like all natural ingredients, make everything from real fruit, don't use any artificial flavors, and um, he experimented with making his own ice cream too, which is kind of more like, I think, is this your shave ice here? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Places oh, that have this as their background, this as their background in the back. And, uh, and it's a beautiful little walkway down by the river, and you guys can enjoy it and relax. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for taking the time. Yeah. This is the heavenly with matcha and cacao with the pineapple shave ice with the powder on top. Looks delicious. Let's go outside and enjoy it. Thank you guys, thank you. Thank you. Wow, this background is lovely. Look at this. We get to enjoy the shave ice here. With the pond, the benches, this nice area here. Let's try for the shave ice melts. This is the matcha. This is the cacao, which is basically chocolate. All natural flavors. Because it's natural, I think it's melting really fast. So. We'll review it right away. It's very natural. It's soft. It doesn't have all the extra sugar and it tastes quite clean. The texture is soft. It's a little fluffy and it has a good bounce towards it. Mm. Mm. The mochi is really soft. I think it has a chewiness feel towards it, which complements the shave ice. And now we have the pineapple shave ice with leaking powder drizzled all on top. Pretty cool. Ready? This is a winner. The pineapple is quite naturally sweet and the leaking is a little salty. So to have that mixed together makes for a unique combination here. One thing I can say, this actually tastes like a pineapple. A soft, slushy, natural pineapple drink would taste like with the heat powder right on top. That just adds an extra punch towards the pineapple. This is a definitely a hidden gem to go check out. If you want to get away from the other places that are quite busy, I will come here to get some natural shave ice to cool down, relax, enjoy this, and enjoy this view. It all melted and I'm just going to enjoy sipping this. What a good slush. Mm. It's a hidden gem. This place is hidden and we hope that this place gets discovered more because it should. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So that's it guys. Mahalo for watching this video. Leave me a comment in the section down below if there's any other hidden gems I should check out. Share this video, subscribe, like, and stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys later. Aloha.
if you have a truck company right next to another truck company that sells the exact same thing as shrimp, I wonder if you cheer on the other shrimp truck or do you hope for their truck to close down? Oh, I'm glad that you guys are having longer lines now. Awesome.